Hello. Welcome gamers. Um it is Monday. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. It's Monday. Monday, July 18th, 2022. We're playing this game. It's been a while since we played this game, but there's new content. Uh and by new I mean probably a few weeks old. But there's stuff that I haven't seen before. Yeah, this is Holo Cure, but without the Holo or the Cure. It's simply a different game. Alright, welcome in Stanley, Hamflow, Escapade, Cyani, Pink Popo, Nutritious, Loaf Key, Sleepy Big Wee Wee, Mojave Jukebox, Duck, Neo Way. Welcome. Yeah, so people who haven't seen this game, it's kind of like Vampire Survivors, except you have to aim. Uh, up until a certain point when you don't actually have to aim anymore. So it was pretty fun. We played this like two or three times on stream. Welcome in Delicious Smile. And I was debating whether to play this or Holo Cure or like or Bug Snacks. I feel like Bug Snacks is like a it's like a story focused game. What if I just want stuff to talk about? What if I just want to talk about things? So this this is a good game for that. Uh, let me refresh the redeems thing. Yes, manual shooting. Manual. It's fine though. It's fine. It's fun. This game is fun. Um, so they added some new characters. Let's see. Welcome in Ragodom. So they have uh, this character, Yuki. Let's see, on every sixth shot, send out a frost butterfly. If affected enemies are already frozen, they take damage equal what? Shoot a frost butterfly. Alright. And they have a new weapon. Magic bow. Shoot out arrows that linger on the ground when you reload arrows return to you. Sure, why not? Well, if he doesn't care about bug snacks. Look. look. I want to play Bug Snacks, but it has to be a time when I have nothing else to talk about. Because usually when I play games, I'm just like, I'm going to talk over the lore, and people will be like, oh no, he's not reading the Bug Snacks lore. He doesn't care about Bunger, or whatever. Look, I do care, I just have things I would like to talk about first. So as my first stream back from the weekend from not streaming on Sunday, like, I'm gonna play this. What the heck? There's three modes. Endless mode? There's an endless mode now? Alright, let's do standard mode. Um, considering I'm not that good at Darkness 15, <laughs> let's just try Darkness 15 with, like, a new character that we've never used. And a new weapon. What's going on? What's up with this? Okay, this is an interesting weapon. The bullets go back to you. That's cool. That's kind of cool. There's a butterfly. It freezes things. And then when you refresh, when you reload, it goes back. A mode that goes beyond 20 minutes. I can't believe they would add such a thing. Okay, I don't know which one's good. <laughs> What's good? Uh, probably double shot. Double shot is pretty good with everything. You shoot twice. You shoot twice as many arrows. And then they come back at you. So yeah, it's Monday. I had an interview um, as an interviewer. Not as the interviewee, but as the interviewer. And the person was very knowledgeable. And they knew what they were doing and it was cool. We went through the interview very quickly. You know, like he, he was like, I don't know much about this thing. And then I asked him the, the question and he answered it like faster than anyone else I had ever interviewed. So I'm like, yeah, okay. That's good. That's cool. He knows who I am. He actually looked up, probably like on LinkedIn or something. He's like, you've been working here for like six to seven years. How do you like it? I was like, well, how do you know this? Like, did you, like, look up the name of the, like, right after you got the invite for the meeting? You just, like, found me on LinkedIn or something? No one has, has ever done that. Or at least if they have, they haven't mentioned it. I'd be like, how did you know I've been working here for that long? 
And and me as the person who's like thinking of leaving the company when he asked me how do I like it here? I had to be like, oh yeah, it's pretty good. Uh <laughs> I definitely don't have any intentions of leaving, <laughs> uh, but I don't know, I feel like when you've asked those kind of things, like, I don't know, the person kind of has to, to make stuff up, right? I don't know, if they don't like it there, what do you expect them to say? They kind of just have to, they just gotta say things. Yo, that's cool. You shoot them in a fan and then it reloads and goes back at you. This is a cool mechanic. I enjoy this. Wow. He's like, I saw your art. No! I mean, he seemed pretty well prepared. He knows what he's doing. <clears throat> Maybe too well prepared. What if he looked up the question? I actually never thought about this. There are websites where people can list like interview questions that, th that they've had for, for different websites. What if this guy just like looked up? He's just like, oh yeah, this guy, uh, they tend to always ask me same like five questions. So maybe that's how he knows. He's like, yeah, I've heard of this one. I looked it up two days ago. Rate my professor. That's like Glassdoor. Glassdoor is one of the websites. Um, but it's one of those annoying websites where they make you, like, log in to read past, like, the first, uh, few comments. And then I just never do it. I just never... I never sign up. There's no reason to. Maybe they studied a lot? I don't know, maybe. If someone ever said that to me in real life, I think I would curl up and die. Then that someone saw your art. Don't you do art professionally? You're like, uh, you do, uh... I forget. You said something. You do art. People know you for art. Let's see, which one is good? Kill clip is pretty good, probably. I don't know, let's do it. Imagine he comes into the interview and the very first thing he says is, I'm poem. <laughs> I'd be like, what prompted you to say this? What 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 made you want to say this in, as your first thing in an interview? To proclaim to be Pomo? Do you know too much? This guy knows too much. People are sim they're not allowed to know this much. Okay, let's see. Health? Health? Rapid fire? Fire rate's pretty good. He is Pomo, the Pomo. We're all Pomo. Do you guys watch the, uh, the Obsidia one year anniversary? They had a cool VR chat world. It seems fun. They put in a lot of easter eggs. A lot of nice random things in the background to look at. Maybe at some point I'll check it out, but I don't know. Probably not in public, because interacting with strangers? No way. Do art online, but it's more like graphic design. Yeah, what if someone's like, I recognize this graphic that you have designed. <clears throat> this graphic that you designed is pretty good. Let's see, bullet aim, less spread. No, I'll do this one. Here we go. We're shooting. We haven't taken any damage so far. This weapon is pretty good. This weapon is nice. If you don't kill enemies the first time around, when you reload, they might get killed. If they have sheer willpower, willpower to say that during interview, I want such person on my team. I feel like if someone- if I interviewed someone and they just said I'm Pomu, I'd be like- I'd be concerned. Because they know too much. They like- they- they might- they may know who I am. Like, why- why do you, um... Why do you know this? Who told you about Pomo? Frost Butterfly, send out an additional Frost Butterfly. That sounds good. Somebody ported the Godot game engine. Okay, that's cool. That's pretty, that sounds pretty cool. Godot, do people say Godot? Godot engine? Godot? Ooh, lightning. 
electric mage. Oh, fire might be good though. You you set them on fire. Um, additionally, pierce, piercing shots. No, I'll do I'll do um. Piercing might be you know whatever fire. Let's do fire. You can burn things. When the bullets come back, they will burn. Decline interviewee. No. Um, hopefully they they do well though. They have they're they're like the, the I can't I can't what am I saying? I can't talk. They're like the most uh the smoothest interview I've had so far. I actually ended it early because he answered all the questions very quickly. And I've learned from doing a lot of interviews that like if I get a get a sense that the person's good, I'm not gonna waste the rest of the interview time. Right, I could have asked him like specific questions about stuff he's worked on, but I'm just like, you know what? What you've answered, that's good enough. I'll give you like 15 to 20 minutes back. You know, I let him ask me some questions and he asked some pretty good questions. And it was good. Interview your interview? What? What do you mean? Alright, here's the first sign of difficulty. We got the, the boss that charges very quickly. Because this is Darkness 15. Okay, alright. I'm gonna take damage. Okay, I almost took damage. Um... Shoot a bullet behind you? That seems pretty good. Okay, okay, I took a damage. I took a damage. Okay, I just died. I should have. Should have. I should. If I should have just been been good. Instead, I was bad. All right. My interview took 15 minutes out of planned 10 because interviewers liked me so much. Wait, you have interviews that are just 10 minutes long? That feels like so short. We always have interviews that are like 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah, I think usually when, when I do interviews, like as an interviewee, <laughs> it's a waiver. As a person being interviewed, I think my interviews tend to go long because I have questions I like to ask them. Let's see, Frost Mage, Power Shot, sure. Yeah, I should have just won, you know? I had some good upgrades. You know what I didn't pick up was Haste. I should have picked up Haste. Haste is good for, um... Darkness 15 Because being able to avoid things is important. Things do double damage sometimes And so I would recommend taking haste. Actually, I should probably take frost mage huh? No Fire rate though. Fire rate is pretty good Here you go. We're shooting We are shooting the enemies this character seems okay, so far. Or maybe it's just his weapon. This weapon seems really good. Compared to like the other ones. The uh, the fire weapon is not that good. It's like very short range. But this one, I like this one. I appreciate it. The reload is cool. It's a cool mechanic. Okay. Right. We do be shooting though. We are shooting. Ooh, splinter. How does that work with the uh, the bullets though? Do those bullets also return to me? No, they don't. Never mind. I was hoping the the splinter bullets would also stay on the ground, and then I could uh, I could get them back. Though maybe that would have been too much. That would have been like 50 billion bullets that they have to keep track of. <laughs> Here, they always take around 10 minutes. They never bother with taking too long. I guess it depends on what kind of job it is, right? For like, if it's like a technical job, like you're doing programming. Typically, uh, I feel like 10 minutes is not, is not enough for those. That feels like really short. 
But if it's for like like a general position where they don't have to like grill you on your knowledge of technology, maybe 10 minutes is fine. You're just like your first impressions. This person seems okay to talk to. They're not like extremely awful in the first 10 minutes. It's like, oh yeah, this person in the first 10 minutes, they, they like insulted me, they, they punched my dog. Uh, would not recommend. But this other person, they didn't. They didn't do that. So that's pretty good. Which character is least efficient? Um, it's been a while since I played this game. I'm actually not sure. I think my least favorite character probably is the the one that summons a clone. It's not that good. Or the one that, uh, when it kills things, it, sh it shoots like skulls. The skulls home in on enemies. Those never those never seem very strong to me. See better reload rate? Sure, let's do that. My brother is a programmer, meanwhile walking the way of the law. Oh yeah, the law. I guess for like for lawyers, right? Um How does that work? Like lawyers, do they apply for jobs or do people just contact you directly? I guess you could apply for like a law agency. Like a group of lawyers. But then I feel like with a lawyer, yeah, 10 minutes is probably enough. Like as long as you have like the, the, the bar exam or whatever, your license to lawyer, then that's probably good enough. Should I get haste? Let's get haste. Being able to move fast, that's important in this day and age, 2022. It's never been more important to move fast and, uh, and shoot things. Actually, I don't know. Don't take that out of context. There's been too much shooting related things. First, need to look for work working in law. Oh, working in law doesn't mean to- wait, then what, uh, what kind of law related- what the heck just happened? You see the frame right there? What kind of law related things? Like being a plaintiff? What is a what is a plaintiff? I actually don't know what that is. Whoa, what is what is happening? What is going on? It's like lagging. I've never seen this in this game. Welcome in Starburst. It's very strange. The only time I've ever seen this game lag is like in the end game when I when I would just kill everything and not pick up the EXP. <laughs> I'm surprised to see it lag this early on. Maybe because it's like really hot. Double how fast, how often frost butterfly freezes. Okay. That's cool. See what that's so that's too much uh that's too much lag. I, it might be the uh the, the bullets. The fact that the bullets come back to you, that could be what's causing the lag. Maybe it's like we have to keep track of too many bullets on screen. On screen I mean. Simply, simply too much. But I mean, the computer I have is pretty powerful. It should be able to handle this. Cannot compute. The bullets are too hard to compute. There are simply too many of them. Imagine this, uh, this with rage though. Rage is the thing that increases your max ammo by like three and your fire rate by three or something. You'd have so many bullets to keep track of. Okay, what now? What's good? Reaper rounds, additional pierce. Actually, it, the pierce is probably good because it goes two ways, right? When you shoot it and when it comes back, it can pierce double the enemies. But also, freeze is good. You know what? Freeze? Um, it just froze? Okay. <laughs> I said freeze and then it froze. That's funny. That's funny. Okay, let's take freeze. Because it might be good, to, it would probably be good to freeze the boss. Also, the frame rate. What's going on? What's what? What is happening? <laughs> what the heck is this game? This game used to be tuned so well. What, what is this? My computer? Am I dropping frames? Hold on. Let me check. Let me check Chrome. Let me close some Chrome tabs. Yeah, I think it might be my computer. Let me let me kill some things. 
let's see, browser, GPU process, Twitter is taking up 64% CPU, I don't believe that. Um, you're also a bit crackly, audio-wise. Okay, this might be the thing where I have to like restart OBS. I might have to restart OBS. I don't think it's the game, it's like my, my streaming PC. Yeah, OBS is using up 300% CPU. It's normally not this high. <laughs> Welcome in at Dragon Qs. Let's see, things are happening. Okay, my computer is lagging. 